And I've done before short films that were mainly about um, uh, literature adaptations, uh, adaptations from short stories from Paraguay. And what happened to me is that when I sat down for the first time to write a story, uh, what came to my mind were the dialogues of women I grew up with. I mean, mother, aunties, great aunties, a lot of women, and I always heard this. Uh, gossips as well, you know, when you are with uh, people and then someone leaves the room, everybody talks about that woman that left the room. So I kind of found that as a way of t talking about my society as well. The film doesn't use dialogue in a straightforward way. It uses dialogue just to portray the society and you have to really, uh, I wanted the audience to really uh, develop the story in their mind according also to their own personal experiences. Really, I think it was organic to the story. It is a story of a couple. Um, I think they would be in an environment of mainly women. Uh, as I was writing, some people say, is this a science fiction, like man disappeared? <laughs> so I think that question pr probably was not going to be asked if the protagonist and if everybody was a man. Probably it's mainly asked because it was uh, mainly a woman in the cast. But I feel that it's part of the story. It was not force, it is organic. I wanted to work on inheritance because we don't only inherit uh, money or possessions, we also inherit um, our way of behavior, we inherit limits, we inherit prejudice. And I think that's very strong in my society, a lot more than in Europe. So I was thinking that um, the, the, the protagonist of the film was a person that inherited a lot. In, in Latin America, when you inherit a lot of money, you usually don't work just leave with the money you inherited, or you work a lot less. Uh, so I was thinking that this person inherited um, a lot of possessions, but also inherited a lot of uh, constraints, a lot of limits to what she could do or who she could be. And I thought that was an interesting way of, of uh, approaching the story.